Lamont Roach versus Rene Alvarado. To those who don't know, they recently fought over in Texas in the undercard of the uh, Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez versus Uniski Gonzalez fight. Uh, the fight can be watched on the zone. You can watch the whole entire event on the zone right now if you do have the zone. And uh, yeah, this fight ended up going the distance. It was scheduled for 10 rounds. It went the whole 10 rounds. And Lamont Roach ended up winning the fight by unanimous decision. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um, like I was saying, this fight between Roach and Alvarado ended up going the distance. And uh, Roach ended up winning 100 to 90, 98-92, 98-92, all in favor of Lamont Roach. He now wins, with this win, he wins the uh, WBA and NABA Super Featherweight title. And um, and yeah, I honestly did not score this fight round by round. I was at work when this fight was taking place and I was doing work stuff uh, while watching this. So I wasn't able to really score it round by round, but it seemed closer than 100 to 90 or 98, 92. I, I, I thought, you know, based on what I saw, uh, it looked like Roach was winning rounds, but it, it looked closer than 100 to 90. It didn't look like it was a, uh, you know, a complete shout out um, when I was watching it. Um, but based on what I've seen, uh, I'm not surprised that Roach won. Uh, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm from Maryland and Roach is from Maryland and I wanted him to win this fight. Uh, but I'm happy, man. I'm happy that Roach won. Uh, with this win, he improves to uh, 20 at 2 and 1. One draw, nine wins coming by way of knockover TKO. Uh, this is his third win in a row since suffering his only loss against Jamel Herring back in 2019. And um, yeah, and when it comes to what's next for Roach, I'd love to see him come back to here the East Coast. I feel like this is where he should be fighting here in Maryland. Um, I mean, I know his promoters, Golden Boy Promotions, then they're based over in 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 uh, the West Coast, but. You know, I think he needs to grow his fan base here in Maryland. I think here in the DMV area. Try to grow his fan base here. And, um, you know, just get more... Because people would be more familiar with him. So, and I, I've been to his fight. And, he, he, you know, he brings in a decent crowd. He just needs to fight more often here so that he'll bring a bigger crowd. And once he's selling out the, let's say, the the MGM National Harbor here, let's say once he's finally selling that out, maybe it's time to maybe move to a bigger arena, maybe to Atlantic City or what, but, you know, I, I, I think the, him fighting in the West Coast does not help him too much. Uh, but, you know, here he is fighting in big events, and he was in there against Rene Alvarado, who now suffers his 11th loss in his pro career. Alvarado is now in a three-fight losing streak. Um... And yeah, I don't know what's, uh, I guess, back to the drawing board for Alvarado and uh, try to rebound from this, take an easy fight, easy win, and just try to get back to winning ways. Lamont Roach with this win, I honestly could see him, he's right now ranked number four by the WBO, but knowing that he's under Golden Boy Promotions, I could definitely see him fighting Roger Gutierrez next. I could see that happening. Um, but it's definitely hard for me to see Lamont Roach become world champion at the moment. Uh, this rankings, by the way, needs to be updated. It's not updated at the moment. Shakur Stevenson would be too much for him. Uh, Kenichi Ogawa, I think, would be a little bit too much for him. Oscar Valdez as well. So his be his best chance of becoming a world champion is against Roderick Gutierrez. So, um, so yeah, and winning that L WBA Super Featherweight title, um, like WBA NABA, I should say. Um, winning that WBA, NBA, NABA title will definitely help him in the rankings to possibly fight for the WBA title in the near future. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.